So let's say that you're on a really strict budget and you're trying to find the perfect CPU for you. Well, I think this might just be the CPU you're looking for. So what I have right here is the Ryzen 5 2600, and we're going to go over why I think that this is one of the better bang for your buck deals in terms of just super budget systems and why it's worth considering. Anyways, the first thing I want to go over is the cores and the threads of the CPU. Nowadays, games can actually use a decent bit of cores and threads, so it's always a good idea to invest into a decent bit of them. And this definitely delivers in that regard. We have six cores, 12 threads, which I know they're not the fastest cores in the world, but if a game is coded to you all of those cores and threads, which a lot of games are nowadays, you would benefit more than having a faster quad core CPU, purely because the game is optimized for a higher core situation. Additionally, the extra cores and threads can help you in more creative applications like video editing or just general content creation. And I think that's definitely important to consider if you are considering building a super cheap system, but you still want to do some stuff on the side like YouTube or something. Another thing to consider is the platform that you're working with here. I know AM4 is getting up there in an age, but AMD is still supporting it pretty well. It's a super cheap platform to get into. You've got plenty of options for an upgrade path. Let's say you get a, you know, decent B450 motherboard with this CPU and you want to upgrade. You have plenty of options. You can go for a 5600 or maybe if you really want to go up there and get something beefy, the 5800X3D, the same socket that you put this CPU in, it will work with a 5800X3D. It's, it's kind of insane. DDR4 RAM prices are also pretty cheap so let's say you initially get 16 gigabytes of ram and you want to upgrade to like 32 it's a very cheap drop-in upgrade that just won't cost much in the long run also just like the price of ram the actual cpu itself the 2600 is very very cheap like it's extremely cheap you can usually find it for about 30 bucks or so and i wouldn't be recommending the cpu if it were like a bad performing cpu it has really good performance in most esports type games and also some AAA games too the performance is there the potential is there and the affordability is definitely there and overall it just makes for a very nice package when you're on a budget now of course there are alternative cpus to consider like the 3600 however that cpu is about double the cost of the 2600 which honestly it's only 60 bucks it is not super far off but it is technically double the price and let's say you're on a super super tight budget like less than 300, 300 bucks every dollar counts and i think that the 2600 offers at least pretty decent performance as a starter computer you know you just want to get going you want to have a computer that can game that's good for esports and maybe a little bit of AAA gaming but if you have just maybe like 50 or maybe a hundred dollars more room than, than that then I would consider the 3600 but really it's up to whatever your specific use case is and if the 2600 meets your needs then go for it it's very cheap not just in the cost itself but also the platform upgrades other type of upgrades they're very very cheap very easy to find availability is nice and overall just a very solid option I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope that this helps you decide whether you want to pursue the 2600 or not on a budget build. Anyways, thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye Thank you for watching.